This first episode is on the pre-feature era. Selected are six short films in varying length from a minute to 40 minutes that showcase the evolution of cinema from its early years, our first one taking place in 1896 through 1912. While there are six films, there are only three directors represented. We have George Millier, Edwin S. Porter, and Cecil Hepworth. The selections include Playing Cards by George Millier, The Man with the India Rubber Head by George Millier, A Trip to the Moon by George Millier, The Great Train Robbery by Edwin S. Porter, Rescued by Rover by Cecil Hepworth, and The Conquest of the Pole by George Millier. This video is going to be broken up into the three different directors that were featured in this list. Edwin S. Porter was asked to help organize the first projection of a movie in New York with a vitascope, which was made by Thomas Edison, on April 23, 1896. He went on to become a projectionist in 1898 and was even given the task of pirating films from Miliace. In 1900, he returned to Edison's vitascope company as the director. He directed many films and attempted to match Miliace's creative editing and manipulation skills. In the film Life of an American Fireman, he pioneered realistic drama and featured parallel action. The Great Train Robbery is the film of his that is featured in this selection. Uh, finished in 1903, it was the first Western epic. It's complex camera work, which includes varying shots and movement of the camera at times. The plot follows a group of bandits robbing at a train. I mean, it's called the... The Great Train Robbery's name gives away the plot, but you need to watch it to figure out what it is. <laughs> It was selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. Cecil Hepworth. His most notable film, Rescued by Rover, came out in 1905. It is considered to be the most influential film he produced and brought British cinema to the forefront of the world. So many prints of the film were sold that the negatives wore out twice and required a resuiting each time. A strong narrative style, editing, and method of conveying the story without title cards set it aside for many other films which did rely upon reading. And this film features a baby being kidnapped by an old gypsy, the dog Rover presumably, chasing down the old gypsy and finding the baby, and bringing the father to help rescue them. At this point, the mother can rest and not weep anymore. George Millier. Millier's accidentally discovered the first special effect. This event allowed him to later pioneer double exposure, where actions are filmed at different times allowing for interesting effects, and the split screen, where he had the actor portraying multiple people at once. This technique was used by Millier's and other filmmakers to manipulate the images and storyline. Playing Cards, his first movie, was only 67 seconds long. It depicts men just playing cards and reading a newspaper. A woman comes and serves them drinks, and one guy smokes. This is actually the first remake of a film ever produced, based on a Lumiere Brothers short made earlier that year. The Man with the India Rubber Head. A chemist is shown shrinking and growing his own living severed head on a table. He has a rubber tube and a bellows, which is a pump, and he is pumping it up to make it grow, and then right before it pops, he stops. He calls in his assistant, and excitedly his assistant pushes it and his head explodes and he literally kicks his assistant out of the room. A trip to the moon with a runtime of around 15 minutes. This is the longest film produced by Miliès up to this point. The extremely intricate and complex set the and costume design create a surreal viewing experience. Enter. Loosely based on a Jules Verne novel, Everybody the plot involves astronomers seat. journeying to the moon Entrance on a rocket launch from a giant gun. Servants. The film was so popular that many distributors, including Thomas Edison, pirated the film the to market signal. to consumers. The, gun the plot involves a trip to the moon where you see dimensions. astronauts making their way up to Petis, the skies which and causes the coming back down. <laughs> you get it. The Conquest of the Pole. This is Millier's final film produced in 1913. It has a full 45 minute runtime and features unique cinematic styles, complex and bold set design, special effects like fire, explosions, and overlays of constellations represented by people. Multiple subplots are featured, crafting an extremely detailed and captivating story. Comedic aspects are infused into the film, including some tongue-in-cheek names for national delegates. The film shortly after the advent of the biplane, air travel is depicted as a viable transportation method, but the plane designs are highly speculative and creative. The film features political commentary, where the suffragettes make several appearances, sparking uproar among the delegates from around the world. The North Pole itself features fantastical events and intricate set design, from monsters to a gorgeous structure at the very top of the world. That's it. 
All films featured in this video are available for streaming in the Macaulay Cave as dismembered 109, 445, 108, and 66. Thank you.